my sockets uh, connected up. The next thing I want to do is a little bit of testing. I just want to check my continuity going around the ring. I also want to check my insulation resistance, make sure there's no mechanical damage to the, uh, to the cables. Let's have a look how to do that. So I've pulled the main fuse out, and taken the front cover of the board off and disconnected the ring main wires. What I want to do is test continuity first of all. So I'm using my QTEC KTD30. Turn it on. By default it starts on uh, insulation resistance test. So just press it onto continuity. Hook it onto each end. And, oh that's not right. Make sure your clips are on properly because that could have sent me on a wild goose chase trying to find out what the problem was. 0.76. Let's do the chase. The same for the neutral. And 0.76, we'd expect exactly the same. And then let's just test continuity on the earth, the protective circuit. Uh, this is obviously a smaller wire, so we're, we're expecting just a bit under double. So yeah, 1.21, that's exactly what we'd expect. Right, so let's take a look at, look at the insulation resistance test. So again with our QTEC KTD30. So we'll clip onto, in this case I'm doing live against neutral. Turn on your machine, 500 volt insulation test and test. 389, that's okay. Right, now I'm connecting it to the earth. I'm doing it to the whole earth block. Now the reason for this, if you do it, just do it on the wire and say, well, this is what I had a little while ago, and they went through the neutral. There's actually no problem between the neutral and the earth wire, but there was a problem between the neutral and earth itself. So it's better just to check against earth. So that 205, I'm okay with that. And live earth. 204, again, I'm okay with that. It's anything over one uh, mega ohms, according to the regs, is okay. Once you're stacking into single figures, you want to be starting to wonder what might be wrong with your circuit. Let's say I had that nail through a wire, brought me down to two mega ohms, which the regs actually say is okay, but I wasn't happy with that, so I went and changed the wire. So we've done our non light testing, which is our continuity and insulation resistance test, both of which we're happy with. Now we're going to do a little bit of live testing. So we put the front back on the consumer unit, plugged in all the fuses, and we plugged in this socket tester. Plugged in our plug-in tester, and we see from the back of the tester, there's a whole sequence of errors. What we're expecting is the two green lights to say correct. Anything else needs further investigation. So let's take a look. Yeah. As you can see, the two green lights came on, the tester screeched to show it was live, so we're happy with that. And now I will go around every socket on the ring main to test everyone to make sure they're okay. So there you have it. There's your basic testing for a ring main. I hope that was useful and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.